here at uh, Toy Fair 2010, almost in the last stages. Last Everyone's cleaning up their booths. And I just happened by chance to run into one of the co-founders of the company. And his, his name is Bob Mimlich. Mimlich. And you were telling me about... First, I realized you, you're not trying to sell me anything. No, no. I was just telling you about the cool technology. We love making robots. And three years ago, we decided we could make little robotic creatures that teach math and science and do things that no one else has been able to do before. Turn on a really fast one here and make it crazy. See, so that, that prompted Bob to quickly turn on all these robots. <laughs> And you gotta have fun. There's two things that are striking about these. One is that there's real science behind them. Also, their price point. It's like ten to twenty dollars. Exactly right. Everything's about. between ten and twenty. And talk about this bug that you created. So this is one of our latest creations. It's a real small robotic creature. This one doesn't have any intelligence. His goal is to run around and seem like he's alive. We spent months trying to tune this bug so that he had very clean random motion. Sometimes he bounced right, sometimes he bounced left. He could tip himself over if he got upside down. They would interact with each other in very fun social ways, bouncing off each other and following each other. Can I see him go? Absolutely. So there's a little vibration thing going in there. And those are rubber. It's like... It, uh, what half rubber, half plastic. Kind half? of silicon. Wow. And you're saying that to, to develop a chaotic bug, it had to be... Controlled randomness. Clean randomness. It couldn't always go right, couldn't go left, needed to bounce different ways. Notice how they ricochet off the walls, really high angles. Clean randomness. This is kind of like my life, except... <laughs> right. Clean randomness. What a concept. But they look alive now. You think you're looking at a real creature, and when kids play with them, they're convinced that the red ones will follow the green ones, or the blue ones are brothers and stay together. And you so said, and you said that um, you knew you had a toy when it tipped back over. Well, the right day we itself. set it down and got it to actually flip over like a real bug, we knew we had. Can I see a that? Winner. Absolutely. They wanted to tip over. They're all on their backs, and they all came up, and they're off. Well, congratulations. Thank That's you really very much. amazing. It's nice to meet you, Warren. Thank you very much. Bye. All right,